Good morning, Baldwin. I'm Scott Friedman, here with Hannah Shore and Stephen Fisher. Today is Tuesday, April 19th, and these are today's morning announcements. First, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please, be seated for today's announcements. Today's impossible question is, when it comes to vacations, one in three people admit to doing this. What is it? Stay tuned to find out the answer. Attention all seniors. This year's senior prom is coming up on May 27th. Tickets are on sale now through April 22nd outside all lunch periods. Tickets are $90 and can be purchased with cash or check made out to Baldwin High School. Be sure to complete all permission slips. Additional forms can be found in the main office. A reminder that all early dismissal forms for junior prom goers are due to attendance office by Wednesday, April 20th. If you have already turned in a note with your prom packet, you do not have to turn in another note. Dismissal time is 11.05. Now over to Hannah for the weather of the day. Hannah. Thank you, Scott. Today's conditions are going to be um, partly cloudy as well as tomorrow with a high of 74 and a low of 43. And tomorrow is going to be a high of 75 and a low of 52 uh -huh. with a 0.13% chance of rain. Now back over to Scott with the rest of today's announcements. Scott? Thank you, Hannah. Student Council is holding its first ever car smash today during lunch periods. You pay $1 to smash a car three times. The purpose of this is to smash drugs out of your life. The next general membership meeting for the Special Olympics Club will be today, in two th today at 2.30 in the South Cafeteria. Please make every effort to be there as we will be discussing plans for the upcoming Special Olympics Summer Games. The Literary Guild will meet Thursday in room 328 for our spring party. Who has the most unique hairstyles in Baldwin? Who is leading the way for the girls softball team's big season? And what's the story on the new coal weather program the morning announcements are using? Get the answers in issue five of the Perbolite on sale Thursday. Now over to Stephen for the sports news of the day. Stephen. Thank you, Scott. The co-ed varsity track and field team has a meet versus, er, at 3 o'clock at home. Also, the girls' varsity softball team has a game versus Carrick at 3.30. The boys' junior high baseball team has a game versus Upper St. Clair at 4 o'clock. The girls' JV and varsity lacrosse teams have a game versus Bethel Park at 5.30 and 7.30. And finally, the boys' JV and varsity volleyball teams have a game versus Bethel Park as well at 6 and 7 o'clock. Now back over to Scott for the rest of today's announcements. Scott. Thank you, Stephen. The main course lunch for today is barbecue pulled pork hoagie with a side of fries and your choice of milk. Today's weird holiday is National Garlic Day. And the answer to today's impossible question of, when it comes to vacations, one in three people admit to doing this. They go to the same place twice. That's all the news for today. Have a great day, Baldwin. Hi, this is Dr. Harold, the organizer of TEDx Baldwin High School. TED's an organization all about getting the best ideas worth spreading. It stands for Technology, Education, and Design. TEDx Baldwin High School is just one example of the many TEDx events that are out there in which individual schools or organizations can put on their own TED conference. Hi, my name's Mr. Melillo. My talk this year will be on uh, individual responsibility within society. The whole theme of our talks here are, uh, it takes a village to raise a child, so what part of you makes you want to be part of that village? Tune in to channel 15-1 on April 21st, periods 6, 7, and 8 for the TEDx Baldwin High School live stream.